Man. And after that Boston Crab, oh, wait a minute. Oh! Farrell's planted his face. And, and right now the Nature Boy. Hey, oh, clip of the leg on Danny Legend. Man, what a night it's been so far. And I understand up next it'll be Shadow MC taking on Brian Mooney in a non-title match. But man, you know, after what we heard from MC earlier, or he sounds like he's lusting for blood or something. I'd be careful if I were Brian Mooney. Although, I don't see why I, MC is so oh, whiny this evening. What, what made him such a crab? Well, you know, I'll save this for then. And right now, I want to detract nothing from Steve Farrell and Danny Legend and Helmsley and Wallet. Just look at Farrell. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Steve Farrell! Oh, here it comes! This might be the figure four! He's got the figure four in on Danny Legend! Will we make him submit? And Wallet keeping Helmsley from interfering, but there's no submission. And now the referee's going to chastise Wallet. And Legend will take down a feral. Oh! Oh! We just saw it! There was a botch! Oh man! But that wasn't. But yeah, just about 20 seconds ago we saw our first botch of the evening. And right now, Feral will tag the wallet. Oh! Now Wallet's legal, man. And I, I gotta tell you, I'm impressed by the chemistry on display between Nature Boy Steve Farrell and MT Wallet thus far. And, and Wallet just on the receiving end right there from Legend. Legend tagged in Helmsley. And right now, oh, arm drag. Did you see that? That was a big one. Oh, torque of the elbow. That's another word I use a lot. Torque. Hey. And oh, uh, elbow drop right there by Wallet. And just look at him grab him by the throat and bring him up. Oh, wait a minute, Wallet. Oh, it just spins him out and powers him down. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you went up to Wallet and called him fat. He tell you he's like 420 pounds of pure muscle, and while I can't necessarily agree or disagree with that, he does have a lot of power in his frame. Man, I mean, he tried to go somewhere with that crab, but Helmsley had to have been worn down by it. I was just moving my microphone a little bit, and off the ropes. Oh, what a clothesline by Helmsley! And Helmsley mocking Wallet. You know, I kind of find it a little unusual when a heel mocks another heel. But anyway. <laughs> but then again, it's like I said, Helmsley's starting to become a bit of a cult favorite. Oh! And, oh, wait a minute. Snapmare takeover. Or right, knee drop off the ropes. And man. Yeah, just look at Wall right here, he was just railing with the shoulder. Sends him to his corner again, tagged me to Farrell. And they working together again. Oh, spine buster. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the way Wallet and Farrell are putting aside their differences. Hopefully, CJ Hawkins and Vincent are paying attention to this. Of course, we still don't know who's going to be on the BYU team besides Hawkins and Vincent for Thursday Night Mayhem when they battle EBA. And from the looks of things, things Tyrant's definitely on the EBA team. I mean, the plot should thicken a little bit in, in the next week. I mean, I'm hoping on EBA we'll be hearing more about the situation. I still think those guys got some balls to try to come in as 
Farrell with a figure four on Helmsley. He's got it locked in. And no, no submission. Danny Legend quick to break up the hold. But yeah, I don't know who those EBA guys think they are. I mean, they need to show a little respect. Hey, they wouldn't have their platforms not for BYU. Seriously. I don't got no problems with those guys at EBA, but I... Hey, but I got a problem with their total lack of dis total lack of respect. And Farrell right here. He's just continuing that assault on the leg. Oh! Man, he just torqued it. Oh yeah, dragging it into the center. He's got him dead center. And here it comes again, the figure four leg lock. He's got it on Helmsley again. Will there be a submission? And he's tapped! He's tapping! Man, we gotta take another look at this. We gotta take a look look at this. First there was that slam by Helmsley. Hey, and then you can see you can see Farrell Well just with the with the back rake. Excuse me, sorry for flubbing my tongue right there. He just clips the leg of Helmsley. Hey, and yes, this, you're seeing on the replay right here. I mean, you can just see, hey, you can just see some of the damage that he had done. And right here, and I'm sorry if I don't got much to say during this whole thing. Hey, but yeah, you can see, hey, you can see all the damage that he had done. And to the leg. Hey, up until then. Oh. Man. And but yeah. Uh, Steve Farrell, after doing all that damage, he managed to get Helmsley dead center. Uh, and you can see right here. Uh, locking it in with precision. Dead center. Helmsley had nowhere to go. Oh, he was in the figure four. Er, and Wallet came in, and to make sure, to make sure Legend couldn't interfere. Er, and really, Helmsley had nothing to do but submit. He didn't have a choice. Hey, oh, well, wait a minute! It's hey, Steven Cowell from EBA! Well, what the hell's going on here? He's attacking Steve Bell with a steel chair! I mean, Steve Bell and MT Wallet had just won that match against Helmsley and Legend, and look at Stephen Cowell with a choke slam on the outside! What the hell is this crap? And wait a minute, up on the ramp is Sean Matthews! And he's a, he was attacking MT Wallet! Then he's got a steel chair! And what the hell? Oh, oh my god! Or Sean Matthews! And Stephen Kell on Team EBA! And wait a minute! Sean Matthews! Sean Matthews with a pedigree! He on the, on the stage and that shades of CJ Hawkins! And in the ring! Oh god! Stephen Kell just choke slam! Steve Farrell! Outside now he's got a sledgehammer! Bro, this is just complete! He lack of respect! This is complete! He lack of showing for authority! These EBA guys have invaded Aftershock after after Tyrant shows up on overdrive and attacks CJ Hawkins. Uh, and oh my god. Stephen Kell just dissected that table. No, oh, come on! And oh my god! Uh, oh dear lord. EBA has just made a big statement here on Aftershock. 